the Giant Mole, released into the game on the 7th of March 2006. It can be accessed through digging a molehill in Falador Park. Um, it is commonly killed for the 1 in 3000 chance for the mole pet which was released in 2014. However, it also can gain profits of 1 million plus an hour, depending on your gear and the method you use to fight it. The main drops that people come here for are the mole skin and mole claw, which are a minimum at the moment, as you can see, of about 15k per kill. Uh, 14k, my bad, 14k per kill. This means that the average kill, as you can see up here, is about 25.5k. And on a Konar Slayer task, when you've unlocked the monsters, is 26, nearly 27k. All that, although that includes the drops from the Brimstone keys, which you get on Konar Slayer tasks. Uh, the drops, the regular drops it gives are fairly standard, uh, none of these particularly worth that much. Uh, selection of runes and arrows, and then the other drops, the main ones people look for are the U-Logs and the Iron Ore, which are two of the most valuable drops. The U-Logs come in at just under 1 in 13 chance and 26k value is one of the more sought after standard drops as always it has access to the rare and gem drop tables um so if you're wearing a ring of wealth it has an impact on some of the drop rates um and if you're not which most people who are killing it won't be you'll get the standard rates um you also, in the tertiary, have the Brimstone Key, which is only on Konar Slayer tasks. The Long Bone and the Curve Bone at 1 in 400 and 1 in 5013, respectively. Uh, the Elite Clue Scroll at 1 in 500. And the reason most people come here, other than money making, the Baby Mole at 1 in 3000. There's a couple of strategies for facing the giant mole. Uh, I will be using the Darox method, although you can use others such as the melee void, regular melee, or melee with prayer, which makes the most sense as most people will be praying against it. You can also use range. Most people use well, only use the Twisted Bow because it's the best way to kill it. However, it is very expensive coming in at over one mil. The most common is the Darox. Uh, I will be using this. I don't have an Infernal Cape, so I will be making do with the Fire Cape. Uh, I will start off with the Amulet of Fury, but you'll see later in the clips that I move on to the Amulet of Torture. And same with the Dragon Boot, which I eventually move on to Primordial. Um, my account is not very efficient, so I don't have Barrows Gloves or Rune Gloves even, which is dreadful, and I am working on it, and will get them soon. So I will be using a Combat Bracelet. I neglected to use a Special Attack just because it's an extra inventory slot, and frankly, it's not needed. Um, with the Darox, you hit hard enough anyway. Um, one thing that I would say you pretty much 100% need if you are taking on the Giant Mole is at least the Fally Hard Diary, which requires these stats, which is quite a lot, but if you're fighting the Mole, most of them you'll have already most likely. Uh, 70 Prayer is a harder one, as is 72 Slayer. Um, you need a couple of quests, Hero Quest, Slug Menace and Grim Tales, and obviously the quests you need to complete these as well. However, the reason you do this is because the Falador Shield 3 and 4 give you the Mole Locator, 
which when it digs away, which it does between 50% and 5% of its hit points, so between 100 hit points and 10 hit points, it will show you where in the mine, the, in the tunnels, that the mole has dug to. Doing it without this is basically impossible because you'll be running around blind. Also, it gives you mole skins and mole claws in noted form, which is a massive inventory save and means that you can extend your trips much, much further than you would be without this ability. Now I've gone over all of that, we will move on to the clips and then the price check at the end. Getting into a couple of the kills here. Um, we started on 6kc already on the account from when I attempted to tackle this boss without the Fally Hard Diaries a while ago and decided it was way too slow to do. Um, it's basically impossible without the Fally Hard done because you can't see where the mole's dug to. Um, coming in with one of the better kills here with just one of the kills that goes right. You hit every time, doesn't dig away, and then you get it under the 10 hit points for it to not dig away anymore. And finish it off here for a very, very quick kill. Um, we'll have a few extraneous drops, some of the uh, red drop table drops, the more, the more interesting ones, because otherwise you'll end up seeing just... A load of you log drops which is on the standard drop table anyway uh, coming in with a rune square here which was a nice one to get it's one of the more rare ones but it's quite nice to see those rare drop table drops even though they're not the one in 3000 for the pet um, Quizmaster showing us how to get rare drop table with the 150 steel arrows as well um, Tooth half, we got quite a few halves over the course of it. They're one of the more common alongside the gems. Um, 3,000 coins as well, we got five of those as drops. So that's what, uh, one in 200 as a rate. I don't know if that's accurate above or below. Um, we come in with the first repair just not long away from 500kc. 300k so it's you know under a, comfortably under 100k for per 100 kills which is very good very cheap method of doing it um and yeah it was just quite easy and here we come in i believe with our only room traveling drop yeah there it is coming in here for the 500th kill of the thousand so we are halfway there and currently at 12.2 mil which is quite good so we're looking at making about 24 mil in total now back to the grind and i will see you at the end of the thousand overall i quite enjoyed doing this boss um of course a couple of the kills can be a little bit a little bit slow with them digging away all the time but on the whole it's quite a quite a nice boss and um, the fally hard diary helps immensely um and stamina pots just mean you can run over and get it to it quite easily um the average drop i think is about 25k uh, something like that which is pretty good for a boss that you can kill 50 plus an hour of um, I did die maybe about five to ten times all of them me forgetting to put my prayer back on after chasing it down um, it's not too bad with the graves so you don't have to repair the um, the equipment or else that would have cost me a lot um, kill 666 with the blood runes which I just thought was very creepy uh, blood 666 not a good combination if you ask me uh, another clip where I almost died from forgetting my prayers there but I did get the kill for the only rune arrow drop 
Um, I think it's a good boss to do if you don't have huge amounts of money. You don't need uh, more than about 5 mil for the Darox and the other equipment. So it, it's actually quite affordable to do and good money per hour as well. And with that, that is 1,000 mole killed. Head on over to the bank, do the price check and then see what the profit is. Before the final price check, I will do my final repair at Bob. That was very well timed, 1% left on the set beforehand. So over to the bank in Falador and I will do the price check. Price check one of all the regular drops comes out to be just over 4 mil, we'll call that 4 mil. Second price check of all the rare drop table loot comes out to be just about 240,000 GP. Final price check which is where all the money comes or most of the money comes from in the mole skins and the mole claws comes out to be just under 20.5 million. Um, all in all, that brings the total loot to just about 24.7 million. So I'll head on over to the GE, get this sold and see what we get. With the claws and half the skins being sold, I am saving a thousand for a loot from a thousand bird's nests uh, through the mole parts, which will be coming out in the near future. Um, and having sold everything else, the total price check comes out to be 24.65 mil. If we have a look over at the loot tracker, it's about 200 and 40k difference uh, there's 212k in the big bones which i buried as i went and i lost a few sharks here or there from inventory space um if i look at the cost of the supplies i use 262 prayer pots 130 staminas and just under 50 super combat potions that comes out to be about 4.1 mil. So the total profit from a thousand moles works out to be just about 20.5 mil, uh, which is not bad, just over 20k average profit per kill. Um, as for now, I will leave it here. I'll leave a link to my series that I'm doing at the moment in the description as well. Um, I'll have more loot videos coming out in the near future like the bird nest one and a few others I am working on But as for now like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one